shoreline is absolutely so beautiful. Around every corner, you just want to poke your head in and take a look. Every little point and crevice and cove is by itself is absolutely phenomenal. And if any one of these places, any one of these little sections of the shoreline was on any other lake, it'd be a point of interest. But here, it's just everywhere. Every square inch, every foot, every kilometer is this coastline of absolute beauty. It's pretty breathtaking. But it's cold and frigid out here, so I understand why it's it is the way it is. It's a hostile environment. Absolutely beautiful. Good morning. Good morning, John. There's slugs. All over my dry suit. So many slugs. Ew. 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 Look at all these slugs. Ah. 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 Slime trails. I hate their slime trails. You know, I, know. I could be I could be cool with slugs if they didn't slime everything. Day eight. Date. Got a couple bonkin sticks here on shore. Some of them have better characteristics than others. This one's nice and short for good. Beaten. This one's a little denser, but it's long, so it's a little bit more cumbersome. This one's the best of both. It's dense and has that shorter reach for good bonkin action. So we're uh, probably going to go with the two dense ones. Big. There's a pool up here somewhere. I saw it poke out. Real careful. For lunch, creamy beef and noodle with mushrooms. Just gonna do a quick dry meal. Coffee. Can't wait. That thing's pretty nifty though, John. Yeah, I like it. These are just dreamy sticks for it too. Bone dry. Thank you. I don't know which one to serve first, because it goes either way. Mm. destination tonight, Cascade Falls. What a lovely day.
Well, so it begins. Tonight for dinner, rice and beef. This is seasoned at home and dehydrated. I forget what's in it, but it looks really good. Ooh la la. Mmm, tasty yet delicious. First guy. You're lucky you didn't catch you earlier there, buddy. <laughs> Good one. Amazing day today. Beautiful location. Tomorrow we have a difficult section to pass through. It's called the Ramparts and it has a reflection wave danger there. And with the expected southeastern winds that we've been having and we will be having for the next few days, that section could be extremely difficult if not outright dangerous. So we'll see if we can pass through that tomorrow. If not, we're going to be held up. It, it might make us need to stay put for a day or two. But uh, pretty tired, it's kind of late, so uh, good night. Morning, day nine. Let's go. Back on the water, it's just after nine. We're gonna try to cover some ground today, but the weather's looking a little bit precarious. Possible thunderstorms, and we have to pass by a section of shoreline called the Ramparts, which is supposed to get big waves reflecting off the shoreline. So it could be a very precarious and difficult situation. We'll see if we can pass by that today. If not, we're gonna maybe have to bunker in at a campsite before then and wait it out. Let's just see what we can do today. Nice to be back on the water.
think I'm feeling a little seasick. Fish, 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 fish. Whoa. Oh. I don't know, it's big though. Oh, it's a pike. Hey! You get over here! We're trying to eat you! You wanna keep it? Cook it up right here? Fish in the bag. That will do. That will do. Yeah, it didn't do the best job, but did a job. I'm not even that hungry, it's just nice to get a fish on Superior. I'm I'm very hungry for a, a fish fry. Me too. Yeah. It's about time. Fish in the hand. Season in the hand. Fish in the pan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm. We paddled up a little river called Swallow River right beside where we ate lunch. And there's a little falls up here. Just over there, past those two islands, are the ramparts, that long stretch of continuous coastline. It's supposed to be quite dangerous because there's reflective waves, especially in non-perfectly calm conditions. Today is not exactly calm, but tomorrow is supposed to be even worse. So, chances are we're going to cross that today.
Alright, that was the ramparts. That wasn't so bad, but I feel pretty sick. I didn't know I got seasick. Not 10 minutes after we got through the ramparts, the wind picked up. It is real windy now. That could have been a bad situation to be in when back there. Later, dude. So nice. Yeah. This place feels like the Caribbean. Yeah, it does. If it wasn't for the black flies eating at your face and the cold frigid water trying to kill you. Tonight for dinner, dehydrated chicken pot pie, but this is beef, it's called tortieri. Have you heard of that, tortieri? What is it? Tortieri. Oh, tortier? Tortier. <laughs> you know what? You know what, John? Didn't say anything. Yeah, I know, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> it's pretty hot, and if I want to go in the water at any point, it's gotta be now, because I'm sweaty. This is the nicest day we've had so far. The sun's going down. If I don't do it now, it's not happening.
What an awesome place to be. Um, looks pretty good. But, does it eat? She eats. She eats. I didn't realize how filthy I felt until I jumped in that lake and I feel really good, really clean. Really, really clean, John. I feel real clean. Envy your gumption. Can't do it. I feel fresh. Honestly, when I woke up this morning, I thought today, day nine, wouldn't be anything special. But I couldn't be further from wrong. From the big waves to that shore lunch and that waterfall, climbing that hill and being here at the sandy, beachy campsite. Today turned out to be one of my favorite, my, one of my favorite days of the trip so far, which is crazy. And even though if we only have a few days left, it still means that there could be some pretty cool days ahead. Trip's definitely not done. Looking forward to what's in the store. Anyways, it's pretty late, so good night, guys. Good morning.
That got hairy in a hurry. Out there, these waves are three, four, or five times as big. That was awful. crazy how fast things can change on Lake Superior. We were paddling, things were good, and then all of a sudden they just weren't. They were very not okay, and we just had to find the closest place to get off the lake, and that happened to be here in this little cove. We were quite exposed to the wind, but it was the only option we had. Pakasa has a rule that you have to camp on designated campsites unless you are windblown or windbound or there's severe weather. And in this case, it was just completely dangerous to paddle any further so we're stuck here which is all right because this is a really pretty place it's quite wind exposed but I, I like it we climbed that mountain a little hill beside the lake a little earlier and we could have been the only people to have ever been up there we could also be the only people to have ever camped in this area of Pakasa Park which is a really fascinating thought we're stuck here for the full day we might be actually stuck here tomorrow as well or at least for the morning. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It seems like we have enough food to get us through the trip between John's remaining food and what I brought, so that's not a problem anymore. I still might kill and eat John, um, not because I need to, but because I think it'd be a little bit fun. But we'll see, we'll see. He is a good friend. Uh, it might be more useful alive. Maybe not. That was a pretty hairy morning this morning. Those waves got pretty big, the white caps were scary and the winds were howling. Happy that we were able to get ashore and turns out this place was a wonderful day to spend a windbound day. But it looks like the winds are dying down, the waves have subsided quite a bit. And so we're gonna make a break for it tomorrow morning, bright and early at 4 a.m. That's why I'm in bed now. It's uh, not even nine o'clock, but we're gonna try to get a bright head start tomorrow, so, so. I'm going to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. So it's still way too big for us to go out right now. John got an update on his Zolio and uh, the waves are supposed to go down this afternoon, so we're gonna wait. You know, one of the best things about being out here is just being de-stimulated. No technology, no cell phones, no computer or internet. You just get so used to just like nature and doing nothing so sitting around and just listening to the waves and the birds and feeling the cool breeze from the big lake this is it's all you need I've been laying here for the last 20 minutes barely thinking but just like in a very peaceful state I think everybody could use a bit of this
just after 5.30 on day 11. We are stuck in the same cove. We are windbound, wave bound. It's too dangerous to get back out on the water and there's no chance of that today as we were hoping. Fortunately, this is a beautiful place to be stranded. We do have enough food, even though it's starting to dwindle. We uh, are hoping to get back out on the water first thing tomorrow morning, so we're gonna be waking up at four and hopefully the weather will have changed by then. Until then, just gotta kick back and enjoy the waves. Good morning. It's 4 a.m. We're gonna see if we can uh, get on the water bright and early today. Conditions have finally lightened up and we are finally getting back out on the water. Woo! So, packing up our things, doing just that. Time to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. better than they were on day 10, but still very uncomfortable, very nauseating, and each paddle stroke is just tedious. We're unfortunately in a similar situation to two days ago where the waves are just becoming unmanageable and we're exposed, so I was really hoping to get a little bit further this morning, but safety comes first. Winds are too crazy, the waves are too large. We have a few hours to kill, so we're gonna get nice and comfy, have some lunch, and just hang out here in this little grotto, this little cove. While we do have food remaining, I still have a couple meals left. For me and John, John's completely out. So John, peanuts. John's com so John's completely out of food. He's only got like a handful of peanuts left. A thousand calories worth of peanuts. A thousand you? calories worth of peanuts, which could last him. He's careful, but I still have a little bit of food left. I probably have. I have meals for both of us for lunch, for dinner, maybe for breakfast. No, definitely for breakfast. But that's about it. We are really cutting it close, so we got to get home tomorrow. Really, we have two meals for rice and beef. Yeah. A little bit of chili and then oatmeal. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And then oh, and then oh, we got some lunch pitas and um, salami. Salami. Yeah. So we are we are right at the like right at the edge of all the food that we have. Yeah. The Did fishing has not panned out on the lake. No, it has not. Weather hasn't panned out for fish. No. And neither has our friendship. We got a test with the food and, and we failed it and now we'll never see each other again. This is the last trip we'll ever do together. It's for the best. Cheers. We had a good run. Cheers to never seeing you again. Yeah, cheers to that. Did you... What?
You think we can go paddle? Yeah, right now? Yep. We're getting back out there. Are you sure? Yeah. It's definitely eased up a bit. A lot actually. We're at the mouth of the Willow River. John had a lake trout on, almost netted it. Did not get it though. But we're gonna fish here for a bit. Hopefully snag something. I got one! Yeah, I think so. It's a rainbow trout? Yeah, I believe it is. Hey, yeah. oh! It's a rainbow. Hurry up and net this thing, please. Here, I'll just stick. Nice, man. Oh, yes! Good job. Good job. Oh my god. Woo! Your first brookie and your first rainbow trout all in one trip. That's special. Is that dinner? Can you hold this for a sec? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Feels pretty surreal to be at this point in the trip. We're just a couple kilometers away from home here on day 12. Tomorrow's our last day. 13 days. This will be my longest trip ever. Longest canoe trip ever. Boy, was it ever a good one. Started off a little hectic. The narrow river is pretty hairy. And then realizing we didn't have as much food as we had expected, put a real question mark over this whole trip. Yeah, the early days on the river were tough. A lot of unknowns, but we just took it one step at a time, one foot at a time, one obstacle at a time, and we made it through it. Man, was it ever rewarding. And then to come out here onto Lake Superior, the biggest lake in the world. We saw some incredible waterfalls, stayed at some amazing places, and even being windbound in that little harbor for two days was quite a nice little treat. But it's nice to be moving again, and it's kind of surreal to be almost home, just around the corner. Me and John had an amazing time out here, and getting to spend it out here with him has been amazing. What an amazing guy. We just shared in so many amazing laughs. This trip would not have been the same without him. What an amazing trip. Truly was a dream trip. Crazy. This one would be hard to top. This trip will be hard to top. That's for sure. So that's it, the pull-out's just around the corner, which means that this trip is coming to an end. Kind of hard to believe. What an amazing trip. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as we did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.